Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Craft Exile. Uh, so since the last episode, I went ahead and sorted through a little bit of the stuff. I've got um, everything broken down at this point. Uh, we do have two rings here, one's a 43, one's a 48. Uh, we're still a couple levels shy from being able to equip that 48. Um, neither of these rings are all that crazy, but I do think I'm going to keep them because the energy regen is a lot higher than these. Uh, but I'm not going to switch until I can switch both of them, so at 48, because as of right now, we have Cathan's Traps, uh, which is 22% fire infusion, which I think is why sometimes when we hit with the axe, we get fire damage. Um, I think it's because that fire infusion off of there. Hey there. Um, so I'm going to stick with these rings until we can trade out both of them. So um, We also have all of this stuff here. Uh, which I do want to take a quick look at. I'm hoping that this helmet is an upgrade for us. Uh, there is a pretty good chance of that also. Uh, well, we got six. Um, okay, so for the helmet, this is what I'm most curious about because this is what we've got right now, which is pretty bad. It's a level 25. We've had it for a while. Uh, this is a level 43 uh, that gives lightning spell damage and vitality um, with actually quite a bit of armor and additional health there. So we're going to lose some magic shield. That's fine. Uh, we're not actually concerned at all about magic shield. Uh, so we are definitely going to trade that out for sure. Um, we also have, let's take a look here. We've got a charm of balance. This is trading off stamina for decks, uh, but we gain 1,116 energy, which is huge. That is a massive amount of energy. All we're really getting off this is runes. Uh, which is a good, well, not really good, decent energy regen. Uh, we get a little bit of purifying fire spell level, uh, which I can make up for that. And we get some fire resistance. This gives us energy, mana, and lightning resistance. Eh. Um, we will probably try it out. Of course, that is a 48. Uh, we got the lightning imbued bracelet of balance. Actually, apparently right now we're not even wearing a bracelet. We were wearing a bracelet. Maybe it broke on me. Uh, but we've got to be 47 to equip that, but it's actually pretty good. So, um, we got this chest piece, which right now we're wearing this one, which would be trading out dodge for armor, which is perfect. I don't even think I get dodge anymore, or maybe it's just crit that I lose. Um, we're gonna have to slot some runes, but we will definitely take that. I think we got a couple different necklaces here. This one is 16% on bonus XP. Uh, which is what we've currently got, point zero or plus point nine dex. So almost a point of dex off of that one. Uh, oh, but this is part of the Cathan's Traps. Um, but this is part of Spirit of the Arcane. This one gives a spell lifesteal, lightning spell damage, nature resist, and say this one is part of Spirit of the Arcane. Yeah, we might actually trade out... We won't, we'll lose some bonus XP, but you know what? I think it's going to be worth it for us. I'm just going to go ahead and chant these in here. The most important thing really for me right now is just getting unbreaking on things. Uh, I feel like. All right, so let's go ahead and swap that. We'll throw on that ring. Uh, so we're getting plus 536 mana, which is pretty good. Um, never hurts to have extra mana. This we'll have to wait on, and then this we'll have to slot with runes. This is possibly um but it is for level 48 so it's going to take a little bit um oh we actually do not have the decks anymore to wear our chest but actually that works out perfect that works out perfectly now do we have any good rune words this one is lightning spell damage cooldown reduction and critical hit chance we waste all of that pretty much except for the cooldown reduction thorns effect dot damage vitality and plus on bonus normal item drops. That's probably going to be the one that we go with. I think. Because I actually like that one quite a bit. Okay, lightning focus is not going to matter that much. But the, the effects that we get here. The thorns effect level. The dot damage. Vitality. Bonus normal item drops. The dot damage maybe not so much. But the rest of it is pretty good. So we'll go ahead and slot this up. And then that's going to give us basically two pieces that we were running that did not have armor will now be traded over for armor we need new legs because these are level 25 they're actually pretty bad but uh we'll keep an eye out for some good legs and that extra armor it's gonna be nice too so we get 
7% armor, we get a bump in vitality, bonus normal item drops, uh, thorns effect level. Okay, so we've got this stuff to level into at 47 and 48. Now at this point, we do still want to get a, another level before we head to Tropicraft. And so that's what we're going to be doing today. It's going for at least one more level. Um, I think most of our stuff's going to be kind of under-leveled or over-leveled. Actually, we have these, which are pretty good. This one has a big jump in loot. Yeah, let's take this. We'll do that. And we should be all set. Now, out of curiosity, before we pop in, I want to check. Our armor value is currently 6,002 at a 42% chance. Or 42% block uh, to damage. So that's pretty good. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. And we got a good little jump in mana there, which is nice. Rare Pillager. Man, this guy's got a lot of health. I didn't even look at what this map gave. It looks like it may give massive amounts of health. Everything just has a literal ton of health. Let me, uh, maybe drop a zombie here. And we now need a million XP to level, so... Oh, everything has massive HP. Like, I'm honestly on the fence if I want to go through this, because it's just, uh... I didn't even pay attention to what it gave. I was like, oh, this one looks better. Or, you know, this one has better loot, basically. But this is actually terrible. Everything just has tons of HP. We got a blue bracelet, though. Uh, we got a 44 bracelet. Which, honestly, it might be worth uh, seeing what this is, just because at the moment, apparently, I'm not wearing a bracelet anymore. I know that I was. I think it just broke on me. Uh, health regen of 47. We get some extra energy, some extra mana, and then a bunch of elemental stuff. Okay, let me pop out. I'm not digging that one because it's just going to be a long time trying to kill the stuff. And I'm really not crazy about that, to be honest. Alright, so we're going to switch up maps. Uh, this one is minus on armor. And hopefully this will be a bit better for us. Because the mobs, it was just going to take way too long to kill things. Yeah, this guy only has 4,000 HP. That's a whole lot better. I mean, even at 4,000 HP, they still feel like a uh, big HP sink, but it's a lot more bearable. But my zombie actually does decent damage. Um, I'm noticing, like, I feel like the paladin tree does a lot more damage than our magic trees. I mean, some of them would deal more like burst damage, but they didn't have the sustain that we would really need, especially in this situation. I was thinking about that the other day, like, if we were still trying to run magic in this situation, this would be actually really bad. Uh, he kept him busy. I like that. But maybe at this level, there's a way to stack, like, a lot of mana regen, like, to the point that you can consistently cast. Um, well, maybe I was just getting unlucky on gear drops early on, uh, you know, around the nether period, but I do kind of think maybe Warlock does more damage than Paladin, like a Paladin spec, but um, I know we do need a new weapon, though. I am going to buy this axe for sure, and it's probably going to be all I grab, but I like these that have some shopping because uh, we definitely need, we definitely need some new axes. Okay, this is a 44 that needs to be scanned. I'm actually just going to keep these on me uh, for right now. So this one is 125 to 218 on physical, uh, which it means it's almost on par with what we've got. It's got higher maximum damage, uh, but five, five points lower minimum damage. Um, and beyond that, uh, the crit hit chance, no good, but it does add the frost attack damage, which is really nice. Uh, nearly doubling our damage. Yeah, we're going to be going with that, I think. And if I need to back out to repair, I will. Because I do have that bracelet and the axe that are both kind of low. Oh, and I don't have my spell equipped. I always do that. 
Oh, that feels that feels a bit better, to be honest. But yeah, because we're doing almost like 700 damage per hit. Uh, which is pretty good. I do feel like I want to... I really need to get up to that like 1,000 damage per hit range. And I need more energy regen. That's why I need that new ring. Junk. More or less. I don't know if we can even get... Uh, flying within this pack. I haven't looked, but it's definitely not something that we have at the moment. It doesn't really seem like the kind of pack that's going to give us flying, but that's just my guess. Okay, so that takes us back to here. Alright, looks like we do have a villager over here. Please sell an even better axe. Come on, unidentified epic axe. That's what I'm after. Oh, we did get some orbs. I will say the one thing I miss, like, the Mine and Slash, it's kind of fun. Like, it's probably not my favorite, like... Um, well, I'm not going to say spell mod, but because it's kind of like an overhaul. Um, but I'm enjoying it all right. It's something different. Um, but it's not, like, my favorite thing ever either. Because I think there's still some big problems with it. Um... Especially in terms of like balance and stuff like that. You know, I feel like that really struggles. I am probably going to need to maybe run out and repair my axe. But, uh, oh, we have a 47 axe and we have a 43 axe. We've got legs, which is something that I needed for 48. Oh, man, I feel like I'm going to buy everything here. But this is like the kind of shop I've been looking for. It's like all like plate and axes and things like that. Okay, let's take that, let's take that, 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 and while we're at it, let's take that too, just to see what we got. I've got plenty of ore, so I'm not that worried about it. Okay, we got lots of nice things here. Let's move this down here. We will take a look at that in just a moment. Most of the pieces that I actually need, uh, they gotta be, I gotta get levels for them, so... It's not a big deal if we wait a minute. Plus, they'll have to be repaired and ideally put unbreaking on them. But uh, but overall, I mean, I enjoy the mine and slash. And it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's probably, like I said, probably not my favorite. Um, I mean, I guess it's probably my favorite overhaul. <laughs> um, but I feel like spellcasting is a little bit bland within it. That's my big my big uh, problem with it, because most of the um, most of the spells all kind of fall into the same category. Um, I mean, there's still a couple spell trees that I do want to try out, but just from looking at them, uh, it kind of takes the Path of Exile approach, um, which I know this pack is based off Path of Exile. But I think Mine and Slash is just designed to be kind of more like an overhaul um, and not really related to Path of Exile necessarily or drawing inspiration, uh, direct inspiration from it. But um, but I feel like within Minecraft, there's a lot more chance to kind of make the classes a bit more unique. And most of them are just, uh, there's not a lot of utility spells. And the utility that there is only applies directly to damage so um, I am missing something more in the vein of like Electro Blobs um, you know or something like that that's why Electro Blobs is hands down my favorite magic mod um, and that's because there's just a lot of utility the spells within here I mean there's not any utility whatsoever I enjoy Mine and Slash quite a lot um, and I enjoy this pack quite a lot but I do still feel like there needs to be some kind of utility spells uh, and that would go a long way just to making uh, the magic classes feel a bit more unique. Because the thing is, like, some of them I think would make better secondaries. Uh, like, I don't know. I mean, Paladin I feel like has everything. Because all of them kind of come down to either damage or healing or something like that. Uh, you know, you get a couple little things like the dash with lightning. But uh, it's not quite what I mean. By utility this axe is like not long for this world i'm gonna have to get out of here and repair it and of course i think there is some balancing um 
things that need to be done, to be sure. But, uh, actually, I think this axe is just broken. And that's why it's dealing, like, no damage. Okay, I'm going to pop out really, really fast. I'm going to repair this stuff. And also, before I do that, I do want to scan this axe. Okay. Yeah, I, honestly, I like what we've got because we kind of we're kind of double dipping on damage, and I feel like that's gonna be really powerful until we, you know, get something else that's either double dipping in damage or it's a good uh, damage increase. So, but uh, the damage output going with a glass cannon build, it's just not worth it. Like, Paladin does just as much damage and has a lot more sustain uh, than going with a caster. I mean, we weren't completely optimized caster, and I think lightning was one of the weaker, uh, the weaker areas for caster, if I had to guess. I mean, fire felt a lot more competent, um, and I would like to try and go back, um, you know, at a later level to caster and just see uh, once we put some nice gear on it or something. But yeah, I feel like um, spellcasters. I don't know, like, I'm I'm one, especially with the way the, the spellcasters on here play, I feel like if they're not able to, like, kind of competently one-shot, um, you know, at least gray mobs, with how much mana it costs to cast, then it's just not really worth being frail and helpless. On here, I feel like this paladin class feels right, you know, I, I'm, I, I can still die, but I don't have to worry generally about just regular mobs. Uh, which I feel like is kind of how Paladin should feel. Um, you know, and I've got some self-heals. I don't do a ton of damage. Um, it's just strange that I deal, you know, about as much damage as a caster. Maybe they probably do a little bit more at this point. But, uh, and I guess at this situation they can kind of sit back in range uh, and kill things. I think probably we've tried out a little of about half the classes on here. We still have a bit more to try out. But I'm willing to bet that on here are probably the two best classes. Probably Paladin and Ranger, I think. I think those two. And then I think Warlock seems like it could be probably in a pretty good spot too. Uh, because the way that it seems to play, it seems to play like a Magic Paladin. Um, where you tend to stack a lot of health and have a lot of health gain and healing and things like that. Um, so I feel like that could be in a pretty good place also. And I'm glad that we do have a shield now because it's great for a lot of these like high power archers. Um, these little groups of weak ones, I'm not that worried about it, but not usually anyways, unless it's, unless it's more of like a one-on-one -on -one fight or something like that. But yeah, I kind of think, like personally, I feel like mine and slash would work out just a little bit better. If they got rid of energy, they got rid of mana. Um, because in a, in a, something like this, I think mana works for something, uh, you know, like mana was used in Dark Souls 3, and I think it worked out good in that. But in something like this, where everything's really, really swarmy, um, I feel like just cooldowns and utility spells would go a lot farther than mana and energy and stuff like that, because it doesn't really add anything, it just you kind of get to a point where you have to like sit back and wait on things and it makes it a lot less actiony than it could be without those you know um, i tend to like cooldown systems a lot more you know um than mana so but that's that's my personal personal opinion but. champion illusion i hate these guys by the way especially in an area like this where gonna be hard to find him but it seems like my zombie is doing a very good job at it and then sometimes I feel like there's this where it's just like this big health sink that I've got to dig through and half the time I'm low on energy and I gotta wait on it, which, yeah, my gear, I need more energy regen, I know, but when it comes down to RNG, there's only so much I can do about that. Um, I do think whenever we level, I'm gonna take some points for energy regen. 
I do believe. Okay. So there's that. Which I still haven't put sharpness onto any axes. I'm kind of waiting at the moment though for like a good purple that we plan on keeping for a bit. Uh, we keep finding blues. So I'm kind of like, eh, I don't want to use a good enchantment on it. I'm starting to really like that zombie. I want to buff him up. Because I feel like he actually does quite a bit of damage, to be honest. And we have a champion husk of scalding. You know, we didn't have a boss. We had quite a few champions in this place, but no bosses. Okay, he is just... There we go. I was sitting back reapplying my buff while my zombie fought. Plus, I was waiting for stamina, so... I think we finally got through all those... All those mobs. Uh, it looks like we got a couple back here. But I think they're just weak. Yeah, weak pillagers. Yeah, I'm totally going to buff that zombie. I feel like uh, just going like heavy warlock might be something that uh, we'll have to try. I mean, we've got enough levels left that we could put a lot of our focus into warlock. I think we could probably uh, be really good... Like, really strong Paladin and really strong Warlock by the end of things. Now, we didn't get a whole lot of XP out of here. We got about a third of a level. Uh, actually, a little bit less than that. No deaths, but just not a lot of really good mobs uh, within here. And no big hordes, nothing like that. So, uh, I'm just going to run out because the exit's right over here. Instead of using a scroll, but... Okay, I enchanted this and we got knocked back to an Unbreaking. Now, I want to try this huh that's only going to give uh, sharpness one now is that due to oh but it can't you can't even put sharpness five onto an unenchanted thing it looks like life mending drops to life mending one uh -huh. unbreaking applies fine but it makes me wonder if there's not something weird with the enchanting. Uh, so we may not even be able to use Sharpness 3. Or Sharpness 5, I mean. This one seems like it's going to be rough. It's a, We lose mana on hit. But we're going to try it out. It's a level 47. Uh, but we need something that will hopefully give us a bit more levels. So Skeletons are going to be the worst for draining mana, I think. Oh, and they finally bust through. It's terrible. Oh, no. No, I didn't mean to cast you into the wall. There you go. This knockback is pretty nice, though. Not gonna lie. Like, knockback actually seems extremely effective within this pack. But everything just has so much health. But at least it's hard for anything to kill us, so at least there's that. That champion zombie has so much HP. Oh wait, I can have more than uh, one zombie out? Oh, the other one seemed like a despawn, though. I'm assuming that was one of mine. But I don't know, I think 104,000. I don't know that I could do anything to make this like a reasonable amount of HP. <laughs> at the moment. I just feel like I don't understand the point in it just having these ridiculous high amounts of HP. I gotta lie though, this is awful. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna push on. That zombie's gonna take me like five years to kill him. Oh, great. Another one. With a hundred thousand HP, like and now knowing that sharpness actually doesn't seem to apply correctly at all whatsoever. I mean, the normal critting doesn't really do anything. But it's like taking all my drive just to get him down to half health. It's like, no. I'm just going to pop out. That one. Uh, let's just go with like a lower level one. So maybe we can just rush through it. Oh. This is a neat one. 
Elite Spider, 16,000 HP. <laughs> and Elite. I like all these Elites, though. I mean, it means I'm going to be hanging out here. I mean, they've got as much health combined as the rest of that champion zombie, but... But I had another champion zombie. It was just... I don't know. I mean, it's not that it was hard. It's just such a big time waste. Oh, I did get a unique shield, though. Uh, level 42... Ours is only a 38, so maybe that might be that might be something to take a look at at least here in a moment. Yeah, I feel like I've got to get my energy regen up for sure, but I also feel like I need to get my damage up. So that's two different stats that I feel like I need to pump like crazy, which I've been pumping like crazy. They're really, really high. Yeah, I wish I could find a charm maybe that gave just like a bunch of strength, like 12 strength or something like that. That would be, that would maybe help things out a little bit, but I don't know. It's hard to say because ours right now gives stamina for energy regen, but we're still struggling on energy regen. So I don't know. Um, I'm not sure if this pack for the later game, you know, because we're kind of approaching that later game stage. We've got Tropics, we got Midnight, we got Gaia left, as far as actual dimensions. It's starting to feel like it's going to be one of those where everything just has a lot of HP and it's more just difficulty is just hitting things a lot. Um, we also may have to try respecking uh, for more damage, perhaps. But I'm, I'm starting to wonder if I should, like, respec. If there's maybe something I can do that has a lot more damage. Or if this is just how this is meant to be. Because I feel like... I mean, we've, we just got an axe, basically, that nearly doubled our damage output, right? It added frost damage on there. It's got a higher... Kind of higher damage value. Um, higher maximum damage, but not by a whole lot. But it did add that frost damage on there. And I feel like it's still really dinky. You can't wear a weapon in the offhand. Okay. I was wanting the, like, the physical damage boost. Uh, because if you recall, this one has that really nice plus 23% physical attack damage. And I was hoping that I could put that in the offhand and have it actually take effect. You know, especially in situations like this where I don't need the armor. You know, I'm not actually, like, getting hit. It would be perfect for that, but apparently it just spams you to death saying that you can't have it. I'm starting to think I should start keeping, like, everything and not automatically scrapping it. So maybe I can get, like, some commons that I can then transform into something useful. Or maybe if I find them in a chest, you know, maybe start keeping those and trying to transform them. Uh, because I've got a bit of those gems and I can always make more and I just need more shots at trying to get a good axe. What I really need is like an epic axe every level because when I have that epic axe I feel like everything's smooth until it starts running out like you know not being good level anymore and then I start feeling like everything's just like a grind. And what I might need to do is just reevaluate our skill tree. Um, I mean, we've taken a lot of, like, axe damage and stuff, but maybe just reevaluating that, um, or just start focusing more on the damage stuff for a while, because, I mean, we're really tanky. Um, you know, I was going for a lifesteal thing, but we've been taking, I feel like, a lot of damage stuff. 20,000 HP. Unidentified Epic Hammer. You know what? We're going to take a look at that. If it's really good, I may just respec out of... I may just respec out of Axe Damage. Because I feel like I need something like this. So this is Critical Damage and Armor Penetration. Critical Damage not going to do much for us, but it does have a lot of physical attack damage. Oh, the Hard-Hitting Hammer. 
I mean, we could always re-roll the stats on it, maybe get rid of the critical damage and get something a little bit better. I would love that if that was armor penetration and physical attack damage. Uh, torch of Rock Skin is armor and strength, but it's a torch, so there is that. We would have to put it in place of this. Uh, and for some reason, I was thinking it was a charm, because it has like this almost, it's like a little miniature version of a charm. Um... We're going to go actually take a look at this, because this is just, I mean, it's taking me like months to kill things right now. I don't know if it just has to do with the, I mean, it didn't feel like this last episode. And I don't think switching axes, I mean, I, I noticed a damage increase with the axe. I mean, at the same time we're unkillable, I would... Honestly, I'd rather see higher enemy damage, less enemy HP. Um, that makes more of like a fast kind of play style where it's more about actually blocking or dodging or doing things like that. Um, but then again, without utility spells to casters, that makes that kind of a, a bad thing too. So, I don't know. Without utility spells and with massive mana costs for what little utility spells that there are. Um, it makes it kind of rough. Okay, so we're going to take this. Let's go ahead. By the way, Epic Ore, it's great fuel. It's 2,000 a pop. Okay, so right now we have critical damage and armor penetration. Not crazy about that. Let's re-roll. Re-roll that. Uh, we got critical damage and armor penetration. Oh, but I feel like its damage went down. Okay, our prefix is hard hitting, so we might change the prefix. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's re-roll the prefix. And we got Forceful, which is extra physical attack damage. I like that. Forceful Hammer. Perfect. Um, we don't have a suffix. We're going to add one, though. We're going to try to make ourselves a really nice hammer. Uh, let's add another secondary stat. I don't know why I thought that would do more. <laughs> uh, we ended up getting extra armor penetration. So we are setting at 11 or 12% armor penetration, which I feel like that's going to be big. Uh, that is assuming that enemies have innate armor and it's not just armored enemies. Because if it's just armored enemies, then we're not going to see a whole lot of effect off of that. So I don't really know. It depends on how it works uh, and how enemy like armor and stuff is calculated we got lucky um which is the increased critical hit chance i keep thinking lucky is drops so uh can i re-roll that like our chaos stat yeah i don't think we can re-roll a chaos stat i mean there's the major arcana chaos stat but i think we can only have one anyways um, also attacking single target does two times damage max targets of five uh, is a special effect on it so down there at the bottom which I like that uh, it does cost 728 energy to swing which is <laughs> substantially more than what we're using here uh, so we will be very slow to attack with this um, okay so I want to add a suffix to this which means we're gonna need an orb of blessing Okay, let's add a suffix to this. We'll see what happens. Uh, so we are forceful hammer of critical hits. I cannot crit. Why does it always give me crit stuff? Let's re-roll that. Come on, give me something good of crit critical damage. Oh my god. I cannot crit. Critical hits. Is that all I can get is just critical stuff? I mean, I'm going to end up increasing the instability. Critical hits. What do you know? Do you have a suffix that's not related to critting? Critical hits. Oh, my God. Physicality. There we go. We don't have enough instability yet to have a break chance. Perfect. Uh, so what this does is plus 10% physical attack damage. 
Awesome. That's not a bad hammer. I mean, I've got the critical damage there. I'm sure there was an orb to get rid of that. Um, but it's whatever. The orbs, I, there's so many of them in here, and I just kind of just... We probably could have changed that out, I think, if we had re-rolled unique stat values or something. That would do it, but... Uh, this should be substantially better. Now, I am going to have to spec out of my axe spec. So, we are going to pop a potion of talent reset. And we're just going to just completely pull out of uh, our current talent tree. And we're going to start off physical attack damage. Um, and this time, I think instead of going for the armor, we are going to go... I mean, that's strength and vitality. Does any of my armor not work? I think it all still works, so... I don't have to base anything off of my armor values. I mean, instead of going down through this tree, we could always go down through this tree where we pick up some strength and get some energy and energy regen uh, and come through with physical attack damage. Um, and I honestly, I feel like that might be a better choice this time. And then we grab, uh, like this, and then probably come in through here, grab that, because 15% physical is pretty big, uh, and then come down through here, take that. We've got hammer damage right over there, and we've actually got more hammer damage down there. I feel like grabbing this because I need a little bit of health anyhow. I think I'm going to cut right through here. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab this. Then I'm going to pop over and I'm going to grab the hammer damage. Grab that and we're going to take our uh, steady hand for the 25% more damage dealt. Then... We'll continue on up this tree. I am going to grab all this armor because I had to sacrifice and not take as much armor. Grab that. Uh, and then we're going to grab the armor up here as well. Take that vitality. Take that health. Okay. That's going to be what the, the layout that we've got. Because I think we picked up quite a bit of physical damage. Um, and kind of went more for physical uh, as well as picking up some energy regen, which I think will be good for us. And it looks like sharpness one is all that can go on that as well. I feel like that's really, really wonky. Raider's Bane, or Unbreaking Four. Let's take Unbreaking Four. Unbreaking Four, Knockback Two, Raider's Bane Two. Wow, what's this enchantment? I love it. I mean, Raiders, we're going to deal some extra damage against Raiders. That's cool. Okay, let's try this out then. Maybe this hammer is just going to wreak complete havoc. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, ho, ho. And what's nice is we're going to get a damage boost if we're only fighting one enemy. Which means that when we run across those champions, and that's the last thing that's left, this axe is going to eat through them. Yeah, this is a lot better. I mean, we're actually pulling out some big damage. I don't have my uh, spell equipped. I meant to equip that. Now, energy, I'm going to have to get energy regen up a lot. Because I'm actually, I'm struggling on energy, of course. I was struggling before with the axe. At least now I'm actually dealing substantial damage, like 2,000 a hint. But yeah, I can, I can deal with this because I feel like we're just as tanky. Um, I think we actually have a little bit more health now than we did, um, which we definitely weren't hurting on health. Uh, but I, f I think we've got like maybe a hundred more or something. And uh, we also deal quite a bit more damage. Oh, I love it. I can hit an elite twice and him be at like half health. 
So yeah, <laughs> we can actually kill things again. But we get a new hammer, and we spec for that hammer, and all's right with the world again. So I want to get that uh, that life drain thing out of our skill tree, which we're really, really close to it at the moment. That's kind of what I was working towards, and we're going to be getting with the hammer. Because that way we don't have, like, passive health regen. That way we don't really have to worry about our food and our hunger. Because uh, I'm usually not paying attention to it anyhow. And we can level just off hitting mobs and using our mana. Uh, but we do get a lot of attack lifesteal from it, so it makes it, makes it worth it in my opinion. Oh, this is so much nicer. Like elites, you know, they still kind of stick out. You know, they take a few more hits. Uh, but if I can get them off by themselves, we would deal more damage to them. So for things like, uh, I don't know, maybe bosses that don't summon adds or something. 2.4 thousand! Ah! Oh, we got a ring? Just got scrapped, but... Was there a basement to this place? Hey, we got a boss zombie. Get down there. Luckily, our knockback still works, even if we don't have the stamina. Um, so we can keep knocking him back. And then when we do happen to have the stamina, he takes 2,000 damage a hit. <laughs> we didn't even have to, like, cheese him whatsoever. And we're close to leveling. I don't know if this place will level us or not, but that would be great, because I'd like to get into uh, Tropicraft come next episode. Oh, so much damage. I forget that I can sit behind my shield and get back stamina, because I think of it like Dark Souls, where it's like, you know, blocking takes stamina. And it's not really the case. I feel like my purifying fires now is like... A little underwhelming, to be honest. We don't have any XP books, so... I mean, there's still quite a few mobs on the map. I just gotta figure out how to get to them. I mean, it shows... It's almost like a rock collapse or something. Aha! Found ya! So much damage. That armor doesn't help you. Ah. I feel like God mode right now. Okay, so anything down here? No? Uh, I think we're going to be looking for some more trap doors, though. Here it is. Looks like this one actually leads to a secret room. Yeah, I mean, he does about 380 per hit, which really is not bad. This actually leads to a couple places, it looks like. Um, and his damage alongside mine, I mean... It's quite a bit of damage output. And of course, we do have that, too. It's one thing. Paladin, it suffers at range, to be sure. Unless you want to put points into decks for it or something. Uh, you know, something like that. So, Get him. Everybody get him. Come on, I only need like less than eighty thousand. This is gonna this guy's gonna be over ten thousand. 
so please let me level. I don't think we're going to make it. Uh, that's fine. I could start up another one. We could do a little bit of an adventure map just to finish out a level. Shouldn't take but a second, so... But I know the level that we get, everything is going towards energy because I need, I need energy regen in a bad way. Okay, now do we get anything of interest out of there after the fact? Uh, some 44 legs, which we could definitely replace uh, the ones that we've got with that because that's armor, health. Um, so we're definitely going to be switching over to those. Because these are armor, magic shield, some, a little bit of strength. So I'm going to lose a little bit of strength there. but And then we get that fire atronach, which meh. And I do want to just really quickly identify these two. Oh, nice. I actually want something with runes. Uh, might be worth dropping off that helmet and getting something stacking uh, runes into that. And then maybe even... Now, I probably won't do the chest piece. Because the one that we've got... We've got runes in it. We've got... That's the one that has the vitality and all that. So, the chest piece I will not be using. But the head piece, probably. Um, and just stacking runes for maybe damage. Uh, just to increase our damage output. That's going to buff up our armor quite a bit. Because these only had 38 armor. Ugh. But we hadn't found anything that was played. We keep finding a lot of leather. That seems to be my luck on here. Okay, now we are just... We are right on the cusp of leveling, which is going to be our last level before we go into... Um, we'll just go with this one. Uh, before we go into, I think, Tropicraft. Uh, so we're just going to pop in here. We're going to quickly knock out 40,000 XP. I'm not going to fully explore this. Um, oh, I do like this. Uh, I've had a lot of wild ones lately. Oh, it's this. Yeah, we are going to do the little platform a bit. Oh my gosh. Just coming there with a vengeance, I'll tell you what. Oh, that was weird. Uh, but we did break 8,000 health. Which is quite nice. But yeah, I'm probably going to fill that full of uh, runes related to energy regen and uh, damage. That's going to be kind of my focus at the moment. I mean, I really think we're good on armor. I think we're good on health. Yeah, we occasionally die, but... Um, It's actually become fairly rare. And we haven't died at all today. So. Oh, this place is filled up with zombies. This will probably be where we level because we've got those champions in there. I'll tell you what, though, whenever I hit like a bunch of them, like, I think. Yeah, we just cleave through. We're actually at a million XP, so should be as soon as this guy dies, we should level. There we go. Man, that was a lot of drops off those guys. It's like now I wish I had the two dungeons that I didn't finish, but you know I needed the hammer from the dungeon that we ran last. Well, let's pop back through. We hit 47. That's actually, uh, I think that one is out of range, or it's like on the last level, uh, as far as getting like full XP value from that, so. Because it was a low level dungeon that we were doing. Okay, so really, really quickly, let's throw in our stat points. We only got one stat point for this level. Um, probably going to take energy regen. Uh, spells. Honestly, I'm thinking, let's take just, let's bump this up. Let's bump up that mastery in here because we get that energy regen. We get energy. We get things uh, from this, which is pretty good. And then down here, uh, we've got one point. We can either take the health 
make our way towards the live steel or there's plus 2.5 percent energy regen honestly i mean i'm really suffering on the energy regen side of things so let's take that uh, at least till we get the energy regen under control because right now it's really really bad um, i'll get that slotted up between episodes i think um yeah because our helmet is honestly it's garbage and we do get to move into a new bracelet uh, which is going to be a bump in energy, a bump in mana, uh, and then the rest of that stuff is kind of meh. But okay, so now we're at the point where I want to head to Tropicraft. So what we're going to do is next episode when we come back, we are going to head into Tropicraft and start in on that, kind of working through um, the us, and then we're going to switch gears and go into Midnight afterwards. So... Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'm glad that we got this sorted. Uh, so we kind of, I'm having a lot of fun with Paladin. And it seems like all we needed was a hammer and a little small respec to kind of get things uh, back in order. Now we just got to get our energy up. But um, switching to that hammer over our axe and doing that little bit of uh, respecing made like a five times damage difference. I mean, it was huge. Um Honestly, I feel like more than that, because of the effect, attacking single target does double damage. So, that's pretty, that's pretty big. <laughs> so, especially for bosses and things like that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button. And go ahead and subscribe, if you're not already, to stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So, until then, as always, do take care. Stay safe. I'll see you guys then.